Hi, 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 Mr. Aslan, the landlord here. It's the summer solstice, uh, 21st of June, 2024. And the time is about 6.30 or so, 18.30 hours. And uh, what I've made is a variation of my nasi ulam. It's a uh, poke bowl because I don't have any rice in it, no nasi in it, so I can't call it a nasi ulam. So what I have is one tub of uh, sweet corn, which I got from the Pasamalam yesterday. I've got two ikat of kulantro, uh, which the Malays call Ketumba Vietnam. Uh, two bunches of it, which I've cut up. Uh, I've diced half a yellow uh, capsicum, half a red capsicum. I've got peppermint leaves, I've got basil leaves, I've got lemon basil leaves, lemon basil I've just learned a few weeks ago. In Malay, it's called, uh, in English, it's called a uh, lemon basil. In Indonesian and Malay, it's called kemangi. Um, and I've got one giant uh, green serrano, which I've deseeded and uh, cut into small pieces. Um, what else have I got in there? Um, mints. Yep, I think I've mentioned that earlier. Um, oh yes, I've got uh, half a uh, torch ginger um, flower bud, uh, bunga kantan. And uh, I've got lashings of uh, JB sauce, a little bit of Lee and Perrins, the juice of one uh, key lime, limau uh, nipis, um, 25 turns of kampot black pepper. Okay, so this is what I'm going to eat, but I've actually made quite a lot. So this is the rest of it here. So I'll probably have it as a second course, or if not, I'll save it for later, either later today or tomorrow. Okay, so this is my Poke Bowl today. I finished one bowl and this is my second bowl. And as I was eating the first bowl, I realized it had quite a bit of heat and it reminded me that uh, beside the green serrano chili, I've um, cut up, uh, diced, finely diced four slices of uh, ginger and put it in there, which added to the heat. So I sliced the ginger, then I julienne them and then cut them crossways into fine dice. I've also got uh, pickled onions. Um, the pickled onions is something I've learned to make in the past two weeks or so. Uh, basically, it's uh, vinegar and a little bit of uh, sugar and uh, just put it in a mug and put the onions but I don't have any sugar so I put some um, mango cordial powder and it worked a treat. Uh, what else I've got in there? Oh yes, I've got uh, 10 red grapes. Normally I buy black grapes, but they didn't have any black grapes in the Pasar Malam yesterday. So I had to buy my third choice, which were black grapes. Um, second choice was of course purple grapes. And the grapes are for the resveratrol and antioxidant that's essential for heart health and longevity. Okay, so... It was uh, delicious. I'm having my second bowl here, or second plate, shall we say. And uh, I hope um, I've um, inspired you to make your own at home. It's very easy. Just cut out all the vegetables, put it in a big uh, stainless steel mixing bowl, uh, mix it up with a ladle and uh, eat it. And don't get hung up with the ingredients. Just use whatever you have in hand. Um, I wanted to put a um, Valencia orange in it, uh, the, but it was already full, the bowl was already full, so I'll save that for tomorrow. Um, the other thing was these mangoes, I wanted to mention these mangoes, these are um, an orange reddish kind of uh, elephant tusk type mango, but they're huge, okay, this is the smallest and you see how big it is, and these two, um, see how big they are, okay, they look like, no. Oh you know half the length of my arm to my fingertips okay so the two of them here are the big ones and then uh, the smaller one the smaller one i told the guys to pick for me something that was right that i could eat yesterday but um, it's still not ripe um, or maybe it's just beginning to ripen so i'll probably have it in um a tree fruit salad because I've got besides the uh, red grapes I've got uh, dragon fruit ah and the orange so yeah it's enough to make a fruit salad so 
I'll probably have that uh, for dessert or if I'm not hungry and I'm full, I'll have it later, uh, maybe tomorrow for breakfast. I had to stop eating to tell you how delicious this is. Um, besides the taste and the fragrance, um, there's also a lot of juiciness from the um, vegetables, the um, um, black grapes, as well as from the pickled onions. The pickled onions had a little bit of vinegar. Initially, I started off with pineapple vinegar, um, and then I added a bit of pomegranate vinegar as uh, it, it, it grew less. So the vinegar is essential when you're eating leafy greens and I've got lots of leafy greens here. I've got the culantro, the mint, the um, uh, basil and the lemon basil. So what happens is the acetic acid in the vinegar would turn the nitrates in the leafy green vegetables into nitric oxide, which is um, important for cardiovascular health. It makes your blood vessels uh, flexible and uh, mix them dilate and uh, you won't get uh, hypertension okay so that's a tip for anybody who's got hypertension eat lots of leafy green vegetables a lot of green salads and anoint them with some vinegar it doesn't matter whether it's pineapple vinegar pomegranate vinegar apple cider vinegar balsamic vinegar uh, rice wine vinegar rice wine vinegar vinegar with a little bit of soy sauce uh, and diluted one to one with water and a little bit of wasabi makes a nice uh, Japanese style salad dressing by the way okay I'm gonna finish this because it's so yummy I I just wish you guys would um, make it um, of course I can make it for you but rather you make it on your own for yourself because I want you to be empowered so that you can eat healthily and optimize your health so that you can be the best version of yourselves okay you owe it to yourselves and your family and the country to be healthy and uh, productive okay see you next time bye <laughs>